because we now have a new method to move big hay bales without a tractor, which is great. So what's up everybody and welcome to a very gloomy, wannabe stormy but not stormy afternoon here in East Texas. It's trying to storm but it's just, it's just not going to happen today. It'll happen tomorrow, not today. But today what we got to do is we got to give the cows some hay because, let's go check it out. They are officially out. Well, they still some, but Dum Dum over there has to go lay in it because that's his favorite thing to do, huh Jordan? Uh, so we got to go move a couple bales in here and we got to get them out so we can get the bales in here. Huh Rose? Okay, so let's see if we can call you guys and have you guys come out or am I going to have to herd you guys out? Hey cows! Come on cow cows, come on! Come on cows! Come on cow cows, come on! Come on cows! Come on cow cows, come on! Come on, I know you want to get up. Come on cow cows, come on! Come on, cows. Okay, guys, let's go. Everybody out. Get out. I need you guys out. There we go. Get out. Everybody out of here. Okay, come on. Starting with you, Miss Rose. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. No. Go. No, 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 no. Go. Go. Hey. Hey. Go. Everybody out of here. Let's go. Out. Everybody out. Let's go. Uh, I gotta use two hands. All right, I got them out of this area. Now what I gotta do is open up two of these gates. That way I have a bit of a drive-through. Now, some of you are gonna be asking, how am I gonna move these bales? I'm gonna do it by myself this time. Not gonna need any help, why? Because we now have a new method to move big hay bales without a tractor, which is great. There we go. Push this wide open, and we're good. And the way that we're going to move this hay around back here is with this thing right here, this new little toy. Let me explain the story behind this, okay? So this is a hay dolly, okay? And the way it works is this will go forward and you go back up into the hay. The hay forks will go in the bale and then you somehow wench it up and it'll be able to pull behind basically anything with a hitch. Okay, at least it's strong enough with a hitch. Now I was gonna go buy one of these. I was gonna go buy one of these and I told my, uh, my friends that, that have helped me move hay in the past that I was going to go get one of these so they didn't have to help me this year. And I go, wait a second, don't go buy one. We have one and we already have an electric wench on it, which is this thing right here. And I went, all right, fine. So I made a deal with them. I told them they, they use this for when uh, um, he goes out of town and his wife needs to move hay around because it's a lot easier than a tractor uh, just to operate. So I told them, hey, you know what? Whenever you need to go out of town and you need hay moved around, I'll do it for you with this thing. So they're letting me use this, which is super, super, super nice of them. And uh, I'll take care of everything when they go out of town and they can relax. So what we're gonna do today is use this thing, and I'm gonna show you how to use it, but it's gonna be kind of funky. Because the way that you're supposed to do it, you're supposed to put this on the back of the side-by-side -side there, and then go back it up into one of the hay bales. Well, my city boy's coming out right now, and uh, when it comes to backing up trailers or anything that goes on a hitch, I am probably the worst possible person at it. I went last time, I tried for about 15, 20 minutes to try and back up into one of these bales. It just wasn't, I know, I know. Put your hand on six and go the way that you want to go. It doesn't register in my mind. One of these days, I'm gonna take about two and a half hours and I'm gonna get this down. I just don't have the time for it today. So you're gonna see my get away, my Jerry rig way of uh, getting this thing hooked up into one of those bales. Why? Because it works. And all I care about is that it works. So it works. So the way that I have to do this, is I have to pick this thing up. And this thing is not light. It is extremely heavy. Extremely heavy. And then, Okay, 
So I line it up first. That doesn't really look lined up to me, but I'll figure it out. Then I'm gonna move the side by side back up to there, hook it up, then lower the forks, push it back, and we're good. up to the battery and have sitting in the side by side. Now that we do that, do check this out. Now, now, Now see, check it out, it works great. And now, all I have to do is take my way overkill knife and cut all the strings off. When we do that, then we can now come here and go something like this. Once that is done, we just go like this. Pull forward. Now we just have to do that two more times. There's a world that's hidden. There's a world that's unseen. There's a one. I imagine, and that's a whole nother thing. There's a noise I can tune out. There's a song that I sing. There's a sound I create, and that's a whole nother thing. I got a mental TV and a soul radio. We ride, dance with Mozart and paint with Van Gogh. At the far end of the dark, heaven waits in the wing. In touch with my inner child, that's a whole other thing. tell us to grow up and they tell us not to dream we forget 
And love, that's a whole other thing And I got a mental TV And a soul radio Where I dance with Mozart And paint with Van Gogh At the bar in for the dial Heaven waits in the wings Touch with my inner child And that's a whole another thing In the Lord of the Rings That's a whole nother thing At the far end of the dial Heaven waits in the wings In touch with my inner child Check it out. I can move my own head. I'm happy about that. I'm extremely happy about that. Last hay bale is down. That is fantastic. All right, now what we got to do is close this stuff up and let the cows back in. And I'll show you exactly how this is working out. All right, you guys ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Hey, cows. Come on, cow, cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Watch. He's going to go hit it with his head. He's going to go he's going to go play with it right now. Watch. He's always the first one, and he's going to go push on it. Let's see. All right? Look. See, see, look. He's going to come over here. Oh, let's check it out. Let's check it out, huh, Jordan? And then you're going to go and throw your horns in it like you always do, huh, bud? Make a mess. Yep. Okay. 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 Really? Jordan? Really? Every time? Every time. Okay. Everybody, come on in. So we got three hay bales moved into here. And man, this is, uh, this is a lot better and easier than last year. Last year, I pushed these things. I unrolled them and I pushed them and whew, that was a lot. But thanks to... My friends Woody and Shirley, they're the ones that, uh, they're, they're Sheep and Dolly's former owners. And actually, you guys don't know this, um, they're the contractors. Woody and Shirley are part of the contractors, the, the um, music that has been on the channel for the last few months, basically exclusively. And uh, they, they're, they're the ones that produce that music, um, them and uh, three other guys. And they record it themselves. It's on, I think it's on Spotify, Reverb Nation. Uh, it's on the radio. A lot of the, their songs are starting to get picked up now. A lot of the songs actually are written by Grammy Award winners. So they're, it's, it's, a, it's a thing, okay? Make sure you go check them out. But these girls now, and boys, hi little dude, are moving into here. And as you can see, there's still a lot of hay on the ground from the last barrels. Let me get over here without getting horned. Yeah, 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 I know. Look, see, what's going to happen is that I thought I was going to have to use wood chips, but because we're doing it this way, what's going to happen is they're going to poop, and then the excess hay is going to cover it up like that. That's going to compost, and we're going to come in here in springtime once this compost down, and we're going to spread this compost all over our fields. So this bedding here is going to be more than enough. I mean, this is, this is pretty thick. And you guys might say, oh, you got, you're wasting a ton of hay. Not necessarily. Maybe, will it come out to be maybe about a ton? Probably. Uh, we're wasting, I would say, and it's not waste, it's bedding. Um, maybe 5 to 7%. So 5 to 7% is, uh, that's happening to it. Jordan! Come on, dude. You already killed Mike. You gonna go kill a hay bale now? That's, by the way, how it happened. But this system, it's gonna seem to be working out for us. I mean... That, that, uh, that hay dolly, that hay dolly is heavy. I mean, I like to think of myself as pretty strong. You guys saw me push those hay bales around. You know, it took quite a bit of effort to do, but you guys see me, you know, lift some stuff. That takes about 80, 85% of my strength to move that thing around. It is, that's solid steel. That is, that's heavy and it's awkward. So it's really, it's, it's heavy. But on the really good side of that is that we can move our own hay around without a tractor and I know I've said this a million times that you know a tractor would be nice but there's a lot of headaches that come with that and, you know I could go get a brand spanking new tractor and right now everything's so expensive the one that I'd need for here I mean it's 
I don't know, forty, fifty thousand dollars. Why spend that money when we don't have to? I mean, that hey, that hey, hey, dolly there. Um, I'd have to pay for it because you know my friends are letting me use it. But if brand new, not brand new, but unlike Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or something like that. Looking at between, well, we'll call it between three and five hundred dollars somewhere in there. I'll take that all day long. Right? Three or four hundred dollars plus the side by side of the ATV or a brand new tractor. Now I could go get a used tractor. I could go get a used tractor right now the, with the horsepower and everything that I need. It's going to run seven, seventy five hundred dollars. But with that, but with the used tractor comes a lot of headaches. I'm not mechanically inclined literally at all. Um, I mean, I can barely change my oil. That's about that's about it, okay? And then I can do some stuff on YouTube. And to try and diagnose a tractor problem, I have no clue. And that would just be too much of a headache on me. And then, still, money that's got to get shelled out that can be used for better purposes. And I will tell you right now, John Deere, if you want to sponsor the channel and have me feature your tractor moving hay around like nothing, I will 100% take that sponsorship. I will 100% take that sponsorship. So just throwing that out there. So if you want your, your tractor featured on this channel, which is rapidly growing by the way, thank you guys very much, hey, let's talk. But otherwise, I'm not gonna go buy a John Deere tractor. Why? Because you know what's better than John Deere green? Benjamin Franklin green. And Benjamin Franklin green that I can put into other stuff. I told you I've been in marketing for like 10 years. Kubota, you should use that. Or Kubota, if you wanna sponsor the channel, yeah, let's talk about that too, okay? Or and all the other ones, New Holland, Mahendra, all the other ones. Let's uh, let's talk. But until that day comes, I have no need for a tractor. Would a tractor be nice? Yes, for certain certain things. Hey, a front end loader, yeah, I can move stuff around a lot quicker. Some grapple things, yeah, I could go move some tree branches and stuff a lot quicker. You know, um, what else? Uh, an auger, you know, a post hole digger that, you know, just attaches to the back. That would be nice, but you know what? I can get around all that without, you know, shelling out a boatload of money or, you know what, we do a payment for, you know, yeah, it's a couple hundred dollars, but you know what, that's just still money that you have to pay back. So why do that when you don't have to? And they'll eventually become a tipping point to where we get this thing up and running, this whole farm up and running to where, you know, we have a whole bunch of chickens. We have, you know, maybe we have some pigs. We have more cows. We have bigger acreage. We have more land, blah, 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 blah. There'll be a tipping point to where, okay, it makes sense. Just go spend the money on the tractor. But right now, no. And anybody starting a farm, oh, you know what? The first thing you need is a tractor. No, you don't. You know, Greg Judy says it the best. Go sell the tractor and, you know, metal over, or meat over metal, right? Meat over metal. Spend your money on the animals, not on metal things. Why? Because that's just money going out. Do things that, you know, bring money coming in. And we're not near that tipping point yet to where it makes sense to get one. So I will do everything that's possible that's, that's in my power to where we don't need to go and get something that is just going to be a money waster, a time waster, because then you have to do all the upkeep. See, see, you do stuff like this to where, ooh, okay, too much, too much power, too much power. Can I get it? One hand, one hand, get it? There we go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, you just do stuff like this to where it works. You know what that is right there? That is a portable pond. And it holds water to where when it freezes, this will thaw out pretty quickly. And it doesn't freeze too badly around here. You know, if you're in Montana, ignore what I'm saying. But that's a portable pond. Do we need to go build another pond in a different place? No. You can fill this thing up and move this around on a trailer. It works out perfectly. Look at this. This takes no time at all. What, maybe two minutes to fill up 75 gallons. But if I open that thing all the way, the water's gonna go too far out. So I can't open the valve all the way. So I hope I got that point across and that's just put, save your money. Don't, don't buy unnecessary things. Do things that maybe are a little bit harder, you know, in the beginning. And that's not that much harder. I mean, that 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 hay dolly's heavy. That hay dolly's eh, pretty heavy. I might even go get like a. It's like the hand. Um, you know, you can put a 
what's that called? What is this called where you put the anything with a hitch on and you can kind of pull it around? Kind of like a an airplane. You know, they move the airplanes around. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to look that up. But to move that around a little bit easier, I might do that. Um, a hand hitch, a hand trailer. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. Or Google kind of what I'm saying and it'll come up. But I still don't need a tractor. I still don't need a tractor. And I'm bound to determine not to have a tractor for as long as I can that it doesn't get stupid for me not to have one. So with that, I'm going inside because uh, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. It's like starting to mist. It's trying to, it's trying to, it's trying to storm. Now, I'm tired. I'm gonna go uh, take a shower, eat some dinner, probably edit this video. Maybe for once relax a little bit. That'd be, that'd be great. I'm always too busy. I'm always doing too much stuff. So with that, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and drop a comment if you like. And me doing too much stuff, that's going to benefit you guys very shortly in the future. I'll show you hopefully in this next week or so. Next week or so, two weeks, somewhere in there. All right, see ya. Bye.